I ask you guys to tell me how to destroy the earth. So today we're destroying the earth over and over in Universe Sandbox. Here's the earth. This is our home planet. Slow down the time here. We're <laughs> we're gonna have, we're gonna need like a hundred copies of it. So get ready. Okay, our first suggestion is to make the moon so big that it kills the earth. So we need the, we need the moon. Where's the moon? Boom. Why is the moon so far away? I swear it wasn't that far earlier. Anyway, here's the moon. There's the earth. Okay, so we gotta make it, we gotta go a little faster. So if we just go in the moon, and just turn up the radius until something happens. Let's see what it does. Okay, the moon is now way bigger than the Earth. Oh, is it gonna crash into it? Oh, wait, 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 that was super close. Okay, is it still in orbit? We need orbit. So the Earth is now orbiting the moon, in fact. So that should put the Earth on a collision course with the moon. We gotta watch this in slow motion. Okay, here comes the, the Earth being sucked up by its own moon. And there it goes. It gets completely devoured by the moon. Shoots out tons of orange fragments. Okay, let's see if the moon becomes like habitable because it has water now. Speed up, speed up. What does the moon look like after all this? It does have water on it, look. Okay, we need a flashlight. It's so dark. This is what the moon looks like now. So now let's try to make this habitable really quick. What is our chance of life right now? Zero, um, but let's wait for it to cool down. Okay, it's cooled down now and it's still at zero. <laughs> we need more. Okay, let's add an atmosphere to it because I don't think the atmosphere transferred. Okay, already that like added ice caps and moved around the water a little bit. Let's see if that just alone made it habitable. Yes, yeah, 60% chance of life just by adding an atmosphere. It is so ugly though. Let's make it a little bit better. Add vegetation. No, 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 that was atmosphere. Make it, make it blue. Add some clouds too. There we go. That's looking a little better. What if we settle the water? Okay, so I guess there was so much water on Earth that it like completely covers the surface. We have very thick ice caps. Let's check our chance of life now. 65%, I bet we can make it rotate a little faster. 68.5, I'll take that. So the moon killed the Earth and then ma we made the moon habitable. That's a success. Speaking of the moon, what if we just throw the moon at the Earth and see if it will survive? Cause that's all what we're about today is destroying the Earth, but maybe it could survive this. So let's grab the moon throw it at the earth this is this is a small moon now this is normal size we don't have any more big moon okay okay here here it comes first collision yes oh it's like rippling out you can see there's okay we're paused but look there's a spot where it's so hot that it killed the plants but it's not hot enough to be orange so you can see there's plants here burned plants here and then the orange from the actual explosion of the shockwave so that's a pretty big collision are the people on earth going to survive that i don't think so look at that every single point of the earth is orange turn the earth into a giant glowing orange chance of life 15 percent so technically some life could have survived if it's maybe some bacterial life as time goes on though x starts to go up very fast that probably made all the species extinct but over time i think the planet could recover because we're going back up 80 percent oh yeah 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 90 percent chance of life after a few years maybe like 50 years we're back at 92 percent chance of life and let's see what the surface looks like we have a lot more lakes the this is probably better. There's less desert. Whoa, that's a cool continent. I actually think that's really cool. That's like the new Americas and it still has the city maps just for America. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, we got some of Eurasia and Africa. Um, I don't know why it's like that, but the earth survived that one. Okay, our next suggestion is to spin the earth faster and faster until something happens. So you can still see the rotation of the earth. The earth is rotating, but let's make it go faster. So I think there's a tool for this. Force, spin. Oh yeah, 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 look. We can start making it spin. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, if we start making it spin a little bit, the centrifugal force pushes the water away from the land and it, towards the equator, it looks like. <gasps> yeah, look, all the oceans are starting to go towards the equator because it's like when, you know, when you spin around really fast with your hands out and you could feel all the blood rushing to your hands. That's what it's like. How fast is it going? So one day on Earth right now is just one hour. So it only takes 1.6 hours for the entire Earth to rotate fully. So let's make it go a little faster. Oh, okay. So we started spinning it so fast that chunks of the Earth are pulled 
The centrifugal force is stronger than the force of gravity and it starts to pull off chunks of the earth. Let's go faster and faster. Even more start spewing out now. Oh, come on. <laughs> the whole earth is just spewing out all of its matter. And there we go. We spun it so fast that all of the matter shot out and then now we're just left with this like molten core. Can we spin this too? Oh, we can. We can do the same thing with this, with the core. Keep going faster. Yes. And that's it. That is it. Oh, it just focused on the sun. Where is our mess of parts? I don't even know. That's what happens if you spin the earth super fast. Earth is back. Wow. For the third time, launch a sperm whale at the speed of light at Texas. Oh boy. Okay. Where's Texas? It's going to be like right here. So let's get the sperm whale object. Boom. Right here. Okay. Sperm whale launch at the speed of light. Okay. So there's Texas going to be about right here. Here's the tiny sperm whale. I mean, it's pretty big compared to a human. You need to be like a dart. We need you pointed at the earth, ready to strike. Boom, the whale, he's ready, look at him. Uh, and then where's our speed? Motion, speed, okay. Light speed, let's set it to one. Okay, we're gonna need our time to be like real time. Okay, this is real time. So we're watching this unfold as if it were to actually happen. Oh. Oh, the, I guess light speed's too fast. So you saw that it did impact right there and just, I paused it like immediately, but you could see the shock wave starting to spread already. So this is a sperm whale impact on the earth. It shoots out and I, I'm sure that would have not have been good, but it looks like it's mostly okay. So let's do it even faster. Okay, so technically this isn't mathematically or physically possible to go faster than light, even to get to light, but we're gonna go, how about a hundred times light speed? So let's set the time to like one millisecond or like less than that. Can we even go less than that? Okay, this is 0.1 milliseconds every second. So this is how fast our sperm whale is going towards the earth. Wait, 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 wait. We got to rotate it so it's a dart pointed at the earth, pointed at its target that it's going to attack next. Okay, we're going towards the earth now. Sperm whale round two. Here we go. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, already you can see the circle of where it impacted, but the time's going so slow, we're gonna have to speed it up to see any real damage. There we go. Okay, we got our first thing. That's it. That's even less than the light speed one. How fast do we need to make it go? Okay, we need something bigger. Giant sperm whale time. Oh yeah, there we go. That's perfect. <laughs> okay, we're just doing a normal speed. We don't need light speed for this giant whale. Here we go. Giant, giant whale versus earth. Let's see. And it just eat it. It just ate it. The entire earth is now inside the sperm whale. Um, and it went up in mass. Oh, and it started spinning. Can we spin the sperm whale to death like we did with the other things? Make it spin. Spin the whale. No way this works. It'll just spin really fast, I bet. <laughs> it's spinning very fast. Spin acceleration. We need this faster. Yes. Oh, we broke the game. It says not a number. Okay, so it is spinning. So this is real time. Let me put it in real time. That is the spin rate. Now we can we like launch the earth into it and then have it shoot the earth out? Or is this not going to work? It's a terrible idea, isn't it? There goes the earth into our spinning whale. Come on, come on. I want something cool to happen. And no, it just gets eaten by the whale. Wait, where did the whale go? Wait, where's the, the, where's the rest of the solar system? Somehow, oh, it did. It launched the earth out of the entire solar system. Okay, here's the sun. So here's the entire solar system in just a few seconds because the energy is so high. The earth is all the way out here outside of the solar system. That's crazy. Launch Saturn at earth, but from far away in add rings, press C to be on earth's surface and watch as Saturn slowly gets close and close and causes havoc to the earth. That's a great idea. Okay, so we're launching Saturn on at the earth, but we're gonna have rings and we're gonna be standing on the earth while it happens. Okay, add Saturn's rings. Okay, we're gonna land on earth now. Look up, there's Saturn coming. Now we speed up time and see what happens. Okay, I turned off the earth's rotation just so we can watch it. Here it comes, here it comes. Ah, slow down time. Turn off the clouds. Okay, I turned off the clouds, land on the earth. There it is. You can see it's rings. Oh, here it comes. And we're gonna die, aren't we? It's complete. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> it forces my view out. And now we are in space looking at Saturn. And how it, it's rings survived. Whoa, do they have any disruption at all? Slightly, they're kind of like off-centered, but 
Saturn is pretty much fine. Wow. Okay. Earth was no match for Saturn. Shoot all of Jupiter's moons into the Earth. Oh boy. Okay. So here's the Earth for the like, I don't know, sixth time, fifth time. Grab all of Jupiter's moons. Jupiter has like 90 moons. So we're just going to do the main ones. So we got Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto are going to be the main four. So let's put one there, one there, one there and one there. Okay, so all four of these are about to crash into the earth. Let's turn on a flashlight and we'll watch them all crash in mostly at the same time because we're pretty we're pretty much the same distance. Okay, Ganymede hits first, Callisto, Io, and then Europa. That is very bad for the earth inhabitants. Okay, speed up time. How is earth after this? So this looks a lot worse than when just our moon collided with the earth. How is our life likelihood right now? It's at 60%, but it's going up. So let's wait a few years. It looks like it only caps out at around 86. So this this did have a chance to make all life extinct. Looks like we have a little bit of land somewhere. Wait, where did all this water come from? There's a little bit of land there, it looks like. So it's probably all oceanic life now. All the humans are definitely dead now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have more ways to destroy Earth, leave them in the comments below. Hit the subscribe button and like the video for more Universe Sandbox. Goodbye.